Hey, then on everybody, Scott of Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. You can see we're back. We're still in this bloody room. We're still on the the lookout. So the message we got was the pilgrims to the left, or I'll find the pilgrims to the left of 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 St Paul. Now I was looking this way. I wonder if his left, which is this way. So I wonder if it's in the other room. What's this? Can I lift this chair up? No. So there is a painting in here. St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. Okay. St. Paul is the only saint to be presented twice in these paintings, contrary to the other apostles. Okay. How come? Well, that sounds promising. This painting has been hanging here for a long time. A lot of dust is built up on it. Well, a finger has drawn a number in the thin layer of dust. I can read the number four. Okay, so something to do with... Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors, too. Paul facing an ordeal. The curtains of his illusions being raised and receives the light from his savior. Okay, so we know a four is in it. I can't remember what numbers I got to last time, mind you. We know a four is in the thing. So there's nothing on here. Acts of the Apostles. So we were looking at these. There's no fours try any with a four in I guess because we look not at the things that are seen but at the things which are not seen for the things which are seen are temporal but the things which are not seen are eternal okay so it wasn't that one which was that only the acts are important now I'm assuming that's the one on the right Chapter four Chapter four Act four. Is that what it is that what it is? Ver I don't know, verse, so chapter In him God has chosen us before the foundation of the world, that we may be holy and blameless before him. Not that one either. I'm gonna end up reading the whole piece in Bible at this rate. Uh, there was a four here, Finally, let's try this one. Brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest. Whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. There's a lot of whatsoever's in the Bible, apparently. Um, what one was I doing? So we're on these ones. I think I've just done that one. Oh, there's two. Shit, I don't know what one I did. Have I done that? This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind. Not in the lustful desire, even as the Gentiles who knew not God. Hmm. <laughs> I think I've tried every... I mean, there's a four there. I can't just try every one that's got four in, surely. Well, let's try it. Hereby know that we dwell in him, and he in us because he hath given us of his spirit. I am literally going to try every single four here. That's the one we just did. Peter, you got any fours for us? Doesn't look like it. James? No. Okay. 
I'm not seeing any. Oh, two and a two. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven like a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. I'm none the wiser here. I really am none the wiser. And this taxing was first made when Serenius was governor of Syria. Come on. I can't remember what number we were on previously. Six and eight. So are we looking for a ten? Are we looking for a ten? I and my father are one. God damn it. And he became very hungry and would have eaten, but while they were made ready, he fell into a trance. Hey, oh, I there's see. a note here. A message from mother and reply to E. We must leave urgently, but first I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare. Watch out for Volner. He figured out I was avoiding him. A lay suspicion. See you tomorrow evening. Stand ready. For now, let's cease all communication until we meet. Take care of yourself. I suppose this must be the last message. What happened afterward? If it's what I suspect, I, I fear the worst. What did Mother mean by... I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare. I must go beyond the nightmare. What does she mean by that? Hmm. Clearly she must be trying to do something useful, but the what? The nightmare. Does that remind me of anything? I genuinely don't know. Must surely speak of a place. I think she speaks of a Granting place. Granting that this is the case, where might it be found? What rooms haven't I really looked? I haven't looked at the ground floor much. been to any of these places. Yes, it's the painting that was behind Mortimer's study. What? Well, let's see if Mortimer has anything to hide behind his painting. Um. Mortimer's getting his guests together. I ought to join them so I don't look suspicious. <laughs> really? <laughs> of course it's behind that, but I knew that all along. We didn't fail anything. Hey, nice. So we've got four available points so we can invest them on things. So I get the feeling that logic would be really good and agility. But could I spend it on other things? You know what? I'm going with logic and agility. doing it just means we're going to be able to get a few more things so okay and we can equip three manuscripts so does this mean that I've done these already so what have we got One in logic. Is there one that we're close to here? Not really. Oh, 
Might as well do that and we can get all of them. Okay, let's do it. Here we go, everybody. We've got some points back as well, which is nice. It's time I went back and joined everyone in the small salon. Ooh, look. I can't go upstairs. You are expected in the small salon, sir. You know what, I'll probably go to the small salon. Emily, I must speak to you. What's the matter, Louis? I have news about your sister. What have you found out? Look, I've started piecing together the events leading up to my mother's disappearance and your sister's. D did my mother know about your secret? Yes, even though I belong to the English chapter, her rank in the order gives her access to a good deal of personal information. It must have been Emma I saw in my vision. I was given to understand that my mother and your sister bonded during their stay. What do I know about old... Uh, is it Emily or is it... It's Emily, okay. So we know that she's vulnerable to psychology and immune to logic. I don't really want to do any of these. Don't send her onto my mother's trail. Do I trust her? I've got a question that might seem a little bit strange. I'm listening. If I said go beyond the nightmare, would that ring any bells? Hmm. No, means nothing to me. Do you mean literally or figuratively speaking? Hmm. My mother used to talk about it, in the figurative sense, probably. We still need to understand what she was referring to, though. If I find something, I'll let you know. Should I speak to her about my vision? If what I saw is true, she might want to take revenge. I can't tell her. I can't. can't I can't tell her. <laughs> I better keep that to myself for the time being. Come, Louis. They're waiting for us. Can't tell her. Probably should have told her. <laughs> right. You will pay dearly, Peru. I'm sure you were involved somewhere along the line. That's right. Pretend you don't know. One piece of advice. Don't travel through France on your way back. Or it'll cost you dearly. Calm now, my friends. Let's calm down. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. What's going on here exactly? Sir Gregory called us together to introduce the last guest. But hardly had we arrived when he set upon Monsieur Perrault. And what has Mr. Peru done to once again provoke someone's anger? Uh, we don't really know just yet. I get the feeling it won't be long before it gets out. How could you dare do such a thing? Dios mio, you are all out of your minds! Really, Duke Manuel? What made you kick up such a farce? What? Have you not heard? Well, let me inform you that yesterday morning at 10.22 a.m. precisely, in the middle of the Place de la Révolution in Paris, by decree of the National Convention, which Monsieur Peru works for, King Louis was guillotined. What? Oh, no. The King of France is dead, gentlemen. Our monarchies are in danger. I have said it before. How dare they? Oh, dear. Oh, as if the race is not God. Friends, friends, let us calm down. Don't pretend to be surprised. He got a fair trial. Ridiculous. Bastard. He was sentenced to death by 361 votes to 360. You beheaded the king for one vote. Is that your democracy? What an obnoxious act. Until this, anything was possible. This political coup will have grave consequences. France. Is lost. Gentlemen, please, let us take a step back a moment. In the name of holiness, he was the highest representative of God in France, Emily. Hmm. 
It's going to cost me either way. Gentlemen, this news affects us all, but I must ask you to remain calm. It's not the first time history has taken us by surprise. Let's ensure that our respective countries are allowed to respond appropriately to this news. Oh, rest assured. The response will not fall short, my friend. Good for you. Well, Your Grace, here I was preparing to introduce you as is proper, and you've beaten me to it. I'm delighted that we are all together at last. Our meeting will therefore be able to kick off shortly. I have just a few more little preparations to take care of before you all find out the reason for your presence here. In the meantime, I shall leave you to get to know one another. When you hear the bell, please proceed to the conclave room on my left, behind that door. I'll see you later. Hmm. Him and Napoleon had a little sly glance at each other. Uh, could you spare a moment, please, sir? I'm glad you ask. I want to talk to you, too. Of course. I heard about your mother's disappearance. He looks concerned. I don't know why, but... I doubt it's from sympathy alone. Well, let's see what he wants from me. Any news of her? Have you found her, maybe? To hear you speak, you seem to know my mother well. Uh, not really. Uh, we met for the first time on this very spot uh, some weeks back. Uh, we had a very pleasant discussion. She's an exceptionally learned lady, with a good head for business. No need for me to tell you that. I agree. Uh, did she tell you about our arrangement? Hmm. Either way, it's very expensive. Next skill use is three. Let's do it. Let's go with manipulation. Absolutely, but I was hoping that you could tell me more about it's it. It's never going to work. Well... She was planning to sell me a very old book. I will make no secret of the fact that I am passionate about the subject. And when Sarah spoke to me about it, her account literally had me enthralled. <laughs> I can think of nothing else since. You might have come across some old books in her belongings, perhaps? Hmm. I found one. Quite old? With locks on every chapter? Uh, oh no. I'm sorry, sir. This one is the Mysterium Cosmographicum, a book she is particularly fond of. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not the one. Poor man's disgusted. I shouldn't play with his nerves. I'll look again. You seem very upset. Is it so important to you, this book? Well, it's, uh, it's the search of a lifetime. What can I say? Every time I move closer to it, it seems to slip away at the last minute. I was very surprised to learn that your mother had it in her possession. I thought it was with a certain von Borchert in Paris. Do you know him? Indeed. One of your close friends? Damn it, should have used uh, the no, free thing. Not really, but we were close once. Precisely over the case that concerns us now. Because he claimed to have the book I'm looking for. Another dishonest person. What can you say? Can't trust anyone these days, huh? No. No. You can't. I hope I've been able to satisfy your curiosity, Mr. Von Volner. And that you succeed in finding what you're looking for. Oh. And so do I. And now, what if you told me who you really are working for, instead of keeping up this pretense? I beg your pardon? We both know what you're looking for, Von Volner. You're the one who Von Birchert was planning to sell it to. For centuries, all those who have come into contact with the Al Azif have bitterly regretted it, Monsieur de Richet. You are playing a dangerous game. 
Please know that I am working for someone who does not appreciate anyone poking around in his business. Let me guess. I, um. You're dear king, I should think. What? You mean Frederick William? Oh, him. Oh, my poor fellow. You are miles away. That stupid, pretentious puppet wields no real power. But seeing as you do not wish to be serious, so be it. Good luck to you. I don't know. I'm guessing it's Mortimer, but... Do we want to speak to old Napoleon? Monsieur Bonaparte, may I speak with you a moment? May we? Would you have any more information about the conference Lord Mortimer spoke of? Nothing at all. Mortimer is very committed to secrecy when it comes to his conferences. Well, well. But given the presence of Monsieur Peru and ourselves, I think it must concern France to some extent. Otherwise, I doubt he would have invited three Frenchmen to his table, huh? Ah. What do you think of Duke Godoy? Well, I'd rather not express any opinion of him. Why is that? His reputation is enough for me. Diversion. Do we know anything about Napoleon and his... Community of conviction and politics. So let's try diversion. I'm sure that a soldier such as yourself is not interested in vulgar rumors. Quite right. If only this cursed gossip didn't come to stain the uniform he has the audacity to wear. Don't you find him worthy? But how could he be, monsieur? He never sets foot on the battlefield to occupy it with charming the queen. Have you any idea of the number of titles that coward has won in just a few years? No, not really. Ten! And that Don Juan spends the best part of his time under the Queen's skirts. The bugger must have some hidden talent, given all of the gifts she gives him. I understand your point of view. Well, I'll be leaving hmm. now. Shall we meet up again later? Uh, wait, monsieur. Any news of your mother? Unfortunately not, no. I hope to speak with her about my deal before I leave. Let me know if you find her. A plus tard, monsieur. What did you call me? Right. So we know this is where the thing is. Let's just have a quick whiz round, see if there's anything we can pick up, like a coin. It's just one log burning on a fire. I not got agility? I thought I got agility. Did I not unlock it to level Chronicles one? Chronicles of the Amber Princess. As I recall, Dorkin was my favorite character. There's a pattern with five circles on this chest. I have a key. What are all these things? No space left. I'll retrieve it later. Wow, it wants me to have a lot of that stuff, right? Can't get out. Okay. So I'm going up to his room, yeah? Up we go. What do you want, Louis? What do you think of our last guest? Well, I never thought I would get the chance to meet that Hispanic Casanova in the flesh. His reputation is well known. The gentleman collects lovers, including, would you believe it, the Queen of Spain. I doubt that Lord Mortimer invited him for his charm, if you want my opinion. 
I've already asked you, but I don't remember the answer. What did you say to me about <laughs> going beyond the nightmare? Good heavens, you're losing your memory. I, so. I haven't the least idea what it might mean. Oh, all right. Mm, that's too bad. Where are the stairs? So around here somewhere there are some stairs up. Aha. And then no longer guarded. Okay. Here we go. We're about to find out if so, if we're looking at the right what place. What did my mother mean by going beyond the nightmare? The book of the Mortimer family. Is that it? The Just the Book family. of the Mortimer family. Okay, fine. Thanks for that. A minor bird. If I speak to the bird, will it say anything about me? to regard the date of the dates of the paintings that I sent for your temporary exhibition please note they are part of my private collection and date according to the Freemasons calendar as you may well have guessed you must remember to subtract 4,000 years if you don't want the public to be surprised by the dating words no need to remind you that the Freemason year begins in March not January in this painting I took the liberty to have a spear touched up so it's better corresponds to the actual spear. Can I urge you urge you strongly enough to do the same for yours? Okay. I don't know what have we got here? It looks like a model of a model of a lock. As if Mortimer is fond of complicating things sometimes. Well I hope I never have to try and unlock it. Let's take a closer look. Dark chocolate beans. Very bitter. They're greatly prized in high society. A minor bird. Can I give you chocolate? <laughs> oh, what have I done? <laughs> looks like I've killed him. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Should have given him a berry, I suppose. Crap. The nightmare painted by Fusili in 1781. Ah, oh, look, there's strings hanging out. What my mother was talking about. I just need to find out what she meant by "go beyond." Hey, looks like it's mounted on rails on each side. It should lift up, I think. There must be a mechanism somewhere. I killed his fucking bird. Oh man. There's gotta be a mechanism around here. Can't believe I killed his bird. Flip. Aha! Aha, I found it. Oh, what on earth is this? Well, I was thinking. A it. ring lock now? Great. That's all I needed. What did that thing say about. There's lots of four digit numbers here.
killed his damn bird. History of the First Crusades by Pierre Amade de la Salle. Strange. All the dates are all wrong. They indicate events that took place in the year 5000 and something? Wait, did I miss something? The famous call from Pope Gregory VIII in his Odita Tremendi Bull of 5187. Oh, the crusade where Richard the Lionhearted distinguished himself. It states the first sea blockade of Saint-Jean d'Acre was broken in the 12th month of 5190 AL, whereas the siege had been going on for two years. Okay. So we know he... We know he loved the Third Crusade. And... We know from the Freemasons you take away 4,000 years. This painting isn't finished. And it looks like Mortimer probably did it. Not bad, but we can't exactly say it's been done in the style of the period. So I think we go one. What were those two numbers that we just heard of? I hope this thing doesn't set off any alarms. One, one, eight, seven. Let's do it. Well, I got it wrong. I did it get doesn't it matter. One one nine zero. Doesn't work. God damn it! I really thought I was close. One thousand one hundred ninety. Isn't the right date when you subtract four thousand? I must have missed a subtlety. I must have missed a subtlety. Doesn't sound like History me. The First Crusades by Pierre Amade de la Salle. Strange. All the dates are all wrong. They indicate events that took place in the year 5000 and something? Wait, did I miss something? The famous call from Pope Gregory VIII in his Odita Tremendi Bull of 5187. Oh, the crusade where Richard the Lionhearted distinguished himself. It states the first sea blockade of Saint-Jean d'Acre was broken in the 12th month of 5190 AL, whereas the siege had been going on for two years. Okay, so... We can try one of two things here. We can add two years to it. Or subtract two years to it, maybe. Oh, hold on. Oh, crap. doesn't matter. Oh, God. Damn it. Doesn't work. Hmm. 5,190. I was pretty sure it was right. Maybe I didn't use the right dating system. So you definitely take like 4,000 off, yeah? Subtract 4,000 years, yeah. So what did I miss? Doesn't work, damn it. I really thought I was close. 1,190. Isn't the right date when you subtract 4,000? 
I must have missed a subtlety. I'm going to have a, of the first <laughs> another read of this here, pissing book. But what I will do is call at the end of the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like wrong, button, subscribe button. Wrong. Follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.